Howdy y'all, welcome back to another episode of JT Outdoors y'all. It's been a while since I've seen you guys and I missed you guys so much, more than you know. But because of everything I can't do it. But we are back, we are doing some epic videos coming soon for you guys. The reason I, this is, I'm doing the intro here, as you see I'm in the woods right now. Where I deer hunt and squirrel hunt as you've seen this video. We're going on a trip. If you follow me on Instagram, JT Outdoors on Instagram and on Twitter, JT Outdoors on there. I gave y'all a few little hints, so okay. Few little hints of what I'm being I'm up to a little bit. And there's a few little videos that y'all gonna wanna see because once something's I'm never blah, 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 I can't talk. Something that I didn't do before is one of the things I'm doing. And there's something that I'm doing just doesn't get even if it has it has been done. I wanna see for myself. Anyhow. But we are going to check the card out because because like I said, I'm going on a trip and I want to see what's going on. I want to make sure I know what's going on over here with a trail camera. Yo, we're out here to make sure because deer season is coming up, y'all. Deer season is coming up quick. It's only like two months, I think it is. No, it's like a month from before deer season starts, but like two months before I can start hunting because hot weather, North Carolina, deers have bugs in them and stuff, and it ain't good. So we got to wait until the bugs on the deers, like the little, well, wow, it was way off. We got to wait till the bugs on the deer are gone for we can be able to eat them without having them t have ticks in them have them i think it's called wobbles or something little worms that bow into the skin and makes them swiggle <laughs> so we gotta change the card out make sure what's going on here because big bull still out here if you've seen that video right there is the deer stand y'all and i actually left the biggest buck of my life walk so i don't plan on doing that again <laughs> but if you want to see that video they went right out here i wasn't too happy but anyhow y'all I'm actually gonna have to set you guys up somewhere on the the, the beloved coon cage, y'all. Look at him, being majestic. Got to set you up on that guy, and change his card. Make sure everything's good to go. I may check the feeder. We don't got no corn right now, but I don't got to check the feeder. There ain't no corn in it. Look at that. There ain't nothing in there. Give the jiggle. There ain't nothing. Well, crap on a cracker. That sucks. Anyway, we've been getting our picture taken while I'm over here. This has got card in. Oh, it's already got SD full. That's new. I'll go check these in the house. I'll only pop it over on your screen if it's something interesting. But if it's not something interesting, then I'm not going to do it. Because I don't want, because lately we've been getting a bunch of coons and that's about it. So I'm just going to take the new one out to me, Pookie. This little guy. And put him in here. Now we ready to rock and roll, boys. But instead of doing the normal B roll thing like I did, Two years ago, if you, for you OGs and know where I'm going at, I'm gonna teleport you guys there, cause I, cause I think it's more fun if you we just get right into it. You know what I'm saying? Even though this intro is like two, three minutes long already, but nonetheless, I'm gonna teleport you guys there before we get right into the action. So, y'all ready? Y'all, y'all about to experience some extraordinary power right here. Three, two, one. Catch you guys down there. Well, as you can see, it ain't worked out. We are at the new place. I'm actually talking a little bit quiet because I teleported with my parents and everybody over oh, yonder, and it's a little bit more awkward doing YouTube and stuff. But I needed to do this for you guys, so here we go. Now, we the plan is for the rest of the day is to maybe go and get the reels and everything set up. I don't know how much filming I'll be doing in there because some places don't like you to. Don't like you filming in there or whatever. So I don't know how that's gonna work. But I may try to get a few little clips or something. But if I don't, that's that's what happened. Okay, it's post-production JCT here. I just flat out forgot to get the clips. So hashtag JCT's memory in the comments below. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> Okay, back to the video. But anyways, you guys, I will catch you guys probably when I... Why did I snap? I don't know. I'll probably catch you guys when I'm actually being able to go fishing and everything. And I have to get the license things for the pier and everything. Where I can actually fish where I want to fish. Get to the bigger fish. I ain't going to tell you guys what I plan on doing here because I got a few ideas you guys... I can't talk. I got a few ideas you guys want to stay tuned for. I've been doing something for the first time that i never done before. Never. I've been to the beach like three or four times. And that's where I am, y'all. At the beach, y'all. Ooh, that light is awful. Hold on a minute. Yeah, as y'all can see, to prove you at the beach. 
focus. Focus, I don't wanna. That's a palm tree, right? There. We're at the beach right now. It's been like two years since I've been. Well, I'm hoping, cross the fingers, I'm like, oh, y'all, you know what I'm saying? That we'll be able to actually do a whole lot better on fishing and catch bigger fish. So I'm figuring, I'm doing a little studying. Good little willing, maybe we'll even figure something out to catch some bigger fish. Maybe some tarpon, if I can, if they're here this time of year, because I'm not, I'm not a local. I'm a backwoods boy. I'm from the hills. Yeah. I'm not from the beach, so I don't know what's going on. So, on that note, y'all, I will catch you guys next time I take the camera. Well, good morning, y'all. It is, about, it just turned 6 o'clock right now. Big old 6 -o. The pier opens at 6, so I'm running a wee bit late. But, we got the, the car, dreams are made up here. As the car drives by, as I'm vlogging here. little weird but anyway we are here it rained a good last night so hopefully it don't mess up the fish or nothing so i'm hoping good lord willing maybe we'll be able to get on something be able to possibly hook into something big maybe a big shark maybe a big something else but real quick though shout out to these little lamps and stuff you know what i mean i cannot drive there we go I cannot drive and vlog at the same time. Shout out to that guy. But we are at the video. I'm going to turn the camera off. And just run on GoPro for now on. And see if we can get on a big something. Hopefully. Morning. Morning. Um, I would like a... Uh, I talked to a woman on the phone yesterday and asked him... How much is it for king fishing? And how much was it again? Sixteen dollars. You have a king set up? I got fishing poles outside. I gotta look at it. Is a three pole set up or two? I got two. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You don't have an anchor rod. I don't know nothing about king fishing. Then That's you're done. not king fishing. If, you're not, if you don't know anything about it, I can't let you out there to kingfish. You can fish, but you cannot go out on the end of kingfish. Right. Kingfishing requires an anchor rod, which has got a, an anchor. Oh, like the little thing. And, and you, it, it's about it's this big, and you throw it out. And those, are, those little things that look like a fish? Have you seen like the, the little weight that look like a fish or it's something? Not, it, it, it looks like a hook. Oh, it looks like a hook. It's oh. an anchor that throws out. Oh. And I've already got one king fisherman out there and if there's king fishermen out there regular fishermen can't go out on the end of the pier all right but you can fish with two rods for fifteen dollars all right how much is like a five-day pass uh for two rods or for one rod two i gotta go in and calculate all right i don't know it off the top of my head <laughs> five-day pass two rods 6750 do y'all got any shrimp while I'm over here? Yeah. Alright. Uh, you, you gonna fish starting a day? Yes, ma'am. Okay, each time you come, okay. you uh, get it stamped. If there's somebody at the gate, mm -hmm. then they'll stamp it off, so we're good to go. Alright. Thank you, ma'am. Pretty good about you. Huh? Catch them all today. Hoping to catch something. <laughs> nice place though. That's pretty. Huh. And y'all, I'm going to be trying something. Like, Woohoo! Oh my god, look at that mess. Oh my lord. Hey. Boy, good boy. Anywho. I got a Sobiki rig. I don't know how to work it, but I got one. I'm hoping this ain't this all tangled up in the line or not. That's the hope, anyway. Where's my rig at? Mm. 
Yes. Yeah. I was trying to see if in this thing was shrimp, see what happens. I forgot that thing was frozen. Alright, the thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave all this rigged up and try not to get tangled. And I drop it and get my tackle bag out of here as well. Yeah, I got something else that's supposed to maybe catch fish, possibly, probably, maybe not, I don't know. I heard it working. And that's so man. This little guy. We got entry. There we go. I'm probably get to get a little beat. Let's see if I can get something. Okay. Nice little croaker I think it is. Where's all the fish? I'm waiting on that thing to go off. I caught a little croaker and I threw it about four inch croaker and I just chunked it out there and now we go eat. They changed it now. You have to have the gear to go out there before they let you out there. They have to you have to prove you're king fishing before you go out there now. Huh. So but this ain't bad neither. This right there. Sir that it does, they can swim over here. <laughs> How about Just standing there looking around. Yeah, yeah, this place is weird. And you, there's a scene at the house, they ruined. Oh, 
Mama took a video of them. They're just standing there. This ain't gas good though. Does it? <laughs> Alright, let's go get some more gas. Oh, that's odd. I didn't even know I can catch it over there. I think it's good though. Yeah. Yeah. Got my shrimp off, you little bugger. Some already got it. Got it. Maybe a little over dramatic, but if it's something big, I want to be prepared. Did I get it? Nope. Catch it that way. Oh, I don't need you right now. I still got your brother on there. Oh, yeah, it's a chunky in back. That's as far as time. It seemed like the farther I check, the farther I cast, the less of them they are. Cause it must be hanging around his pier. I put it down, they're gonna grab it watch it. <laughs> Oh, my shrimp. You must not be. You must not be bigger than a bar. Here, if you wanted to check it, or you don't back down. That's all I was trying to do. <laughs> if it feels bad, and me approach. Maybe have to cut it up and just chunks made it again. And this dirty water, I ain't surprised I ain't got, got nothing on this yet. He got it. He got it all? Yeah, well, I'm dead. I think you got to get you another croak. I guess. That'd be a spot, good reason I ain't catching another. He got it off and you didn't even know it. That's a mean looking little bit. And something got it off of it, so. Man, should have kept the ones that come. You guys catch anything? Croakers and junk. Those little EDB little ugly things. Caught a few of those. How long have you been out here for? I have no idea. I got hit. I got out here about. Well, shoot far. I've been out here for about two hours. Two hours? I, yeah. Uh, hopefully okay. I hope y'all do do too. I about got a back leg on that one. You got the top one? No, there's something did. Mm -hmm. Apparently. You don't think it, this, that morning, that current in the morning is the, was the right, I was using the big sinker because of all the current and everything going on. And since it's calmed down, you think they, it's harder to feel them bite because this thing is harder to move and it calmed down some or something. You can try it. He 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels good. It feels better than the other things. I think it's a papa no. What? It's a papa no. A uh, what? A papa no. What the heck is that? That. <laughs> it's a pretty little fish. How do I deal with this situation? What do you mean? I need to try to get his hook up, you know. Where's he dead? Where's he dead in here? No. Now you get it. Now you get it out. It's a pretty good fish. Mm -hmm. I can't see. I don't think I, if I shark grab that thing, I don't think F pole is going to handle it. So you never can tell. Unless you just don't want to try it. I don't want to try it. Be free. I don't know, I've had a little oh, said dug on it. Sometimes it's easy to feel them, sometimes it's not. I don't know what's going on. I got it. <laughs> Look at that little stuffy piece up there. Oh, the funky looking little piece. Look at him. That's an ugly mud stuff you're going Pretty little son of a gun. A zebra fish is what I'm gonna call it, I don't know. I can't well, be, be on the safe side. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, damn. I don't want to break no laws now. Pick it back in up. Well, y'all, as you can see, I'm actually at the house right now, and yeah, it wasn't the world's greatest day of fishing on the pier, but we actually did catch some fish, so that's better than nothing. Oh, I need to adjust this lighting. Ooh, there we go. We got calculated now. So, but it wasn't the world's greatest day. But I am going back this evening to do a little more fishing to see if I can get something else. Maybe something a little bit bigger. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a shark or something. To come up here and get... No. You know what I'm saying? No. 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 You know what I'm saying? That's the goal. That's the goal is to maybe catch like a four footer or over. That's my goal. How about I get it on the pier? No idea. But... <laughs> ain't gonna stop me from trying though. Anyway y'all. That's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys had a blast watching me act like a fool and uh, <laughs> try to catch some fish and stuff. Sorry I didn't. I, thought, I don't think I've done the world's greatest job of interacting with the camera and everything, but hey, I'm still learning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.